Last thing before we go tonight, we mourn the death of a giant named Joe Galloway. Joe was, quite simply, the Ernie Pyle of the Vietnam War. He was a war correspondent who covered combat at ground level and alongside the men he grew to love. He routinely referred to himself as a non-combatant, but more than once, when it was do or die, kill or be killed, he was handed a weapon and he used it. Joe Galloway was born into a military family in Texas, and as a young 24-year-old journalist for United Press International, he arrived in Vietnam, where he covered the first major engagement with the North Vietnamese, the Battle of the Yadrang Valley in 1965. It was a test of the new American military concept of air cavalry. It became a hellacious ground fight, and when the brutality was over, 499 Americans Americans were killed, wounded, or missing. Lieutenant Colonel Hal Moore was the commanding officer. Galloway and Moore, lifelong friends back in the U.S., later co-authored the book, We Were Soldiers Once and Young, easily one of the best accounts of the Vietnam War. It was later made into a feature film. Galloway was portrayed by the actor Barry Pepper. Years after the battle, Joe Galloway was awarded the Bronze Star for Valor for disregarding his own safety to rescue two GIs after a napalm strike. He was the only civilian so decorated by the U.S. Army in all of the Vietnam War. Joe was brave and direct, brutally honest, and always modest. He was always all about the soldiers he covered on the battlefield. One side note here, for the cover of their book, Joe and Hal Moore chose a photo of a brave platoon leader named Rick Rascorla, a natural leader, bronze and silver, silver star recipient who survived the Battle of the Yadrang Valley. Rick Rascorla came home to the U.S., earned three college degrees, built a life for himself, became head of security for Morgan Stanley. He evacuated over 2,000 people from the World Trade Center on September 11th, where he was killed while heading up the stairwell when the building collapsed. So, another way of putting it, a few days from now, on the 20th anniversary of 9-11, we'll be marking his death, just as we remember the great Joe Galloway tonight, gone at the age of 79.